This mountain echoes. It echoes the voice of the people of this land. It echoes the laughs, the cries, the spoken words, the unsaid truth. It thunders against all evil. You may call it a blessing. Some say it is a prophecy. Some may say it's coincidental. And of course, some say accidental. But even if it is all by chance, what are the chances of these echoes to be this damn mystical, magical, majestical? The sun shines, witnessing a legacy being passed from generation to generation, blooming each day, not knowing yet known that this nectar will remain sweet, for it has been nurtured by all. And by all, I mean the selfless monarchs, the men in service, the people of this land, the youth, the future. But when I say youth, am I worried? Yes, I am. As a man at my age, I feel I am on one side of a suspension bridge and the youth are on the other side. And when I say I, that I stands for my entire generation, we scream and shout. Yes, the sounds echo, but sadly only echo, replicating, duplicating, not reaching. Or is it reaching and bouncing off untouched? That's when I get worried. For then I see a dark shadow on the other side of a bridge, wishing and praying that that shadow does not creep in like a black ivy rusting my land, eating its very roots, roots that are so well embedded. What you see may be a dark and disfigured blotch of black, but that too has form, it has character, a story waiting for its reader. We are the future, the dark blotch you see on the other side of the suspension bridge. But that's only your perspective. That's where you have placed us in your mind's eye. Bridge this gap, stabilize it. If it's wobbly, making you dizzy, stop the shaking, stop the stomping. Make it stable so we may walk and meet safely. But is it safe? No, it's so lame, it's such a shame and that's the game. It's confusing, it's diffusing, it's polluting my senses, my sense of being. The thing is, I'm asked to be myself, but this self must be cloned. I'm taught words in school which I cannot use. I'm made to memorize, but I'm not allowed to think. I'm expected to be something. But it's a disgrace if I'm unique. We are the unheard echoes of these mountains. But no, our voice is not meek. No, are we freaks. Lend us your ear, free from all barriers. We will surprise you if you stop acting so shocked with red hair and go. Oh my God. Piercing and hip-hop. Oh my God. Pants and crop tops. Oh my God. Walking at a clock tower. Oh my God. Kids these days. Kids these days. Oh my God. Oh my God. You too were in our shoes. You turned out fine. We will too. You are right. I too was in your shoe. But now the make differs. And so does the style. The fashion has changed from classy to dapper. The walk is tough. The road is rough. And to make your journey a little less painful, I plead you, stand up and take an oath of peace. Love your today and tomorrow you will seek. What's an oath of tomorrow? With the today, that's meaningless. It's in your hands to edit the less and to replace it with full. To see each day not as a challenge, but as an opportunity to create change. A life that's full of muck can only leave behind footprints of dirt. The only change I see is the color of my soul. What you call muck, I call life. Roll in it. Glide, slide, emerge, go beyond, make an effort. For you must remember the lotus too came from that very dirt. I see what you say, but it's easy said than done. I too like to bloom. Do you guarantee the sunshine and are ready to strengthen my roots? If the step is taken towards the change, not just me, the world, the universe will be your cradle. But first, you must let loose. Free yourself from resentment and inhibition, animosity and self-destruction. I wish the cradle rocked when I was young, and the hugs were tight, no cry, no fight. The adults were the mirrors, I learned what I heard, imitating their actions. And before I knew, I became one. But I like to be a child, be youth, be youthful, not dark, but be the light, collect fireflies and see them glow, smile as if there's no tomorrow, be the strength of my land, holding my head up high. But I too plead, 
hold my hand with pride. Don't be shocked. Don't make this gap wide. I am not shocked. A little surprised. Young minds can be molded if we care, if we give it a try. It's a lesson for us, unfortunate, mature minds. For we have stopped learning, concentrating only on earning. For we want them changed before time, but not pave paths for their growth and rise. There is no gap until we build one. There is no bridge, and if there is one, it's the one of the present, on which we all stand, balanced, holding on to each other, making it tight. As we stand here, the voice is one, the thoughts are one, for no one is old and no one is young. Here we create a present and call it a gift. This is and will be the song that I sing, the anthem of the yellow and orange. As it flutters in the air, hear it now closely. Isn't this what the mountain echoes? This is not an illusion. This is reality. This is not, this is an, not illusion. an illusion. This, this is, is reality. reality.